Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today we are going to talk about something new uh, from the Jenkins site like what is upstream and the downstream project and how we can use them in our automation okay because this is completely a different term so how to use it in Selenium and what exactly they are not only in Selenium you can also use them in a DevOps as well so let's see what exactly they are so we'll talk about what is upstream project, what is downstream project, why to use and how to use. So now if you go to their official documentation, this is what exactly I have taken from their official documentation. Uh, but before we start the documentation part, let me show you a simple scenario. Let's consider you have one job or uh, let's say you have three different jobs. And each job is responsible for some activity so let me create a dependency between them so first I will talk the uh, talk about in terms of test automation so let's say you have one job this job is uh, let's say recreation or smoke scenarios so this Jenkins job will run all the smoke scenarios of your application and another job which you have it let's say for recreation and you also have third job called uh, let's say end to end so let's say smoke scenario job runs five scenarios regression run ten scenarios and let's say end to end run two scenarios so if you want to create this kind of dependency like if my smoke scenario is passing then I only run my regression if my regression tests are passing then only run my end to end scenarios because because as of now these three are independent job but we want to create such kind of relationship or dependency when if one job is failing do not run the another job okay so a smoke scenario job will be the upstream project for regression scenario right because regression is dependent on the smoke so this will be the upstream project for regression right and regression scenario will be the downstream for the smoke scenario up and down so regression have a dependency on smoke similar way you can talk about scenario and end to end like if regression is passing then only run my end to end scenario so for end to end scenario job regression scenario is the upstream project and for regression scenario e to end scenario is the downstream project in simple terms now if you try to read that documentation you can understand so in a similar way upstream project is nothing like you can say parent so one project can have multiple upstream project and multiple downstream projects as well so i found this very interesting and we use it in our couple of projects so i will show you how you can create this upstream project and downstream project so i will create two jobs uh, let's say this is my same I will take smoke scenario and you can consider or you can create a complete project proper test as of now just I want to show you the concept so I'm just creating this because it is independent of your build okay so whatever you given the build it will run our scenario is dependent on the post build action so you, you take your normal jobs which you run day to day and then try to make these changes for the demo purpose i will just run a simple command let's say java space hyphen version so this smoke scenario simply runs a java version prints a java version in a similar way i will create another job let's say this is regression regression scenario and this also i will consider as a freestyle project and uh, I will go to builds and here I will just give MV and hyphen version for me both are independent regression and uh, smoke scenarios or the test suite for me so what we need to do we need to create a dependency that if my smoke scenarios are failing then do not run this so we need to create dependency between regression and smoke so I will go to this regression or just go to a smoke scenario go to configure and you will see this option post build action 
when you click here you can see this option called build other projects right so you will get this options which project you want to build and when you want to build so you can see three different option trigger only if build is stable trigger only if the build is unstable and trigger even if the build fails so depends again your requirement right so if you say run every time then it doesn't make any sense so if you want the continuous pipeline like once all are done or all are passed then only run the next job so you can say which project to run so as soon as you type r so it will give you the number of jobs which starts with r we have two jobs we created just now regression scenario right so trigger only if build is stable it means when smoke is passed then only it will run the regression let's click on save you can see right now no jobs are coming so just refresh you can see now we have one downstream project and similarly when you go to this job it will show you opposite like upstream project is this okay so let's run this so this is the project and you can see and it is downstream project so automatically this will also start you can see we haven't executed this since we created dependency so as soon as our smoke is passing our regression is also passing okay and if you do opposite let's say i don't want um it says run only if build is stable right so let me make some changes here okay so what it is doing it is uh, filling our job so ideally it should not execute the another job you can see it has not executed because upstream project was failed so this is how you can create dependency between the two jobs okay and uh, not only one can be upstream you can have many upstream project and you can have multiple downstream projects as well okay so this is from the test automation point of view now if you consider as a, a broader scenario or see many organization have the different uh, way of uh, organizing things like right? they have the different form of uh, the different rules different protocols so in order to understand this in a clear way uh, so let's say you have build okay in normal terms then we have a test and then we have deploy so if your build is passing then only run my test and if my tests are executed successfully then only deploy this application so this is more from the complete pipeline you can say not complete pipe this is a basic pipeline which i want to explain but if you go in our real devops environment we have a little complex cicd pipeline okay that we will discuss in future so as of now these three jobs can be chained together okay if build is success then only run my test if tests are executed successfully then only deploy my application this is just a basic example to show you how you can create this chaining but if you uh, ask me how to create a pipeline then in jenkins itself we have a separate option called pipeline okay so now let me just give you a small overview about pipeline as well this pipeline is totally different okay that is um, that was only the upstream downstream this is the actual pipeline which devops guys use and which we can also use okay so here you can create a pipeline so let me show you that syntax as well So you can create this kind of pipeline where you can have multiple stages okay each uh, stage will do one task if that stage is complete then only go to the next stage okay from the testing point of view also i can show you one of the pipeline if it is there i'm 
I'm not sure whether it's visible for you guys but if you see here this is I will say the complete CD pipeline you can say check out to the master branch then finally build and do some kind of uh, unit testing from the dev side then deploy to QA then testing like this the actual testing phase finally packaging publish approve deploy to production and finally deploy to the production server okay if any of the stages fail it will not move to the next stage this also i will show you through pipeline but this is one example which i just created it's not actual pipeline but this is how the scenario will be okay if you see it, they have given some sample how you can create different stages right so you can see stage one stage two and stage three so each stage can be like this can be a dev this can be sorry build test and deploy okay so this we will cover so i have this uh, upstream downstream is clear to everyone so if you like this video please share with your friends and uh, share with your teammates and uh, if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys have a nice day bye bye